Straight game. Today, Governor Bashir of Kentucky actually, uh, in a press conference, accused a guy by the name of Tupac Shakur, a.k.a. Malik, of committing uh, unemployment insurance fraud. Now, understand that, unfortunately, um, it's going to take a little bit of time in these because a couple of bad apples uh, can make uh, uh, this challenge that much more difficult. For instance, we had somebody apply for unemployment for Tupac Shakur here in Kentucky. And that person probably thought they were being funny. They probably did. Except for the fact that because of them, we've got to go through so many other claims. That one person thinking that they were funny, using somebody else's identity, is going to make tens of thousands, potentially, of other people wait. It's not okay. We can't be doing that. And we shouldn't be doing that as we move forward. But even with that, our goal is to get through those last March claims this week. And the fact of the matter is, uh, he then later went back and apologized to Tupac Shakur, a.k.a. Malik, uh, in regards to making that claim after speaking to uh, Tupac actually on the phone. Now, somebody an apology tonight. Um, you know, last night I spent uh, a little bit of time talking about fraudulent claims holding us up and mentioned an individual that had filed in the name of Tupac Shakur. I didn't know, um, and it's my fault, uh, that we have a Kentuckian who goes by Malik, uh, whose name is Tupac Shakur. I talked to him on the phone today. I apologized. I told him how it happened, uh, but I owned it. It's my fault. Uh, he was gracious. Uh, I said, I'm, I'm sorry if I embarrassed him or caused him any attention he didn't want, he was uh, very kind. He ended the call, God bless, and we're going to make sure that, that we resolve his claim. Malik, thank you, for being, um, thank you for being so kind, and again, um, I'm sorry. And uh, so I guess a lot of people um, with these alleged uh, sightings of Tupac, uh, Tupac is in Kentucky going by uh, the alias of Malik, if you will joke um but yeah yeah it's funny that um like i said today in kentucky uh governor Bashir uh makes an allegation of fraud and unemployment insurance fraud um and then turns around and actually apologizes uh to the guy by the name of tupac shakur no it is not the tupac shakur uh that you uh know and are familiar with the late great Tupac Shakur, the one who is deceased. No, it's not him. It's a guy, you know, who is named Malik, who who's also uh, his also his his name is also Tupac Shakur. He goes by Tupac Shakur. So I find that ironic today uh, that that's in the news. It seems like Tupac can, uh, you know, at least as his name can never die. Um, it only continues to live on. And so, like I said, the governor was really, truly, honestly embarrassed after. You know, alleging that uh, this guy, Tupac Shakur, uh, had committed fraud and he uh, abruptly uh, and, and, and swiftly went and apologized to the to the young man after, like I said, speaking with him on the phone and confirming that his name was actually Tupac Shakur. Uh, straight game. Like I said, Tupac never dies in his name. He only lives on. And like I said, the real Tupac Shakur, uh, the death row Tupac Shakur is, yes, he is deceased. And uh, may he rest in peace and his name live on, I guess, to other people who want to name themselves Tupac Shakur or who mother and father wants to name them Tupac Shakur. But Tupac Shakur that we know did not commit unemployment insurance fraud. That's for sure. Straight game.